everybody, it's Deborah, also known as Doobage42. Welcome back to my channel, and it is time for Tuesday Reviews. I find products, I try them out. I find restaurants, I try them out. Movies, food, whatever kind of pops in my head that I want to talk about that week. And this week, it's some awesome items, makeup-wise, and to take care of your makeup products. I use makeup brushes and makeup sponges, because obviously, I wear the makeup. And um, you have to clean them. That can be a big chore, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, I bought this several months ago, and it's awesome. It is the Sephora Brush Cleaner. Now, I know you're thinking, Sephora, holy crap, it's going to be expensive. Actually, it's not bad. I think it was about $12 or $13. It's a solid product. I'm going to open it up here. When you open it up, you see this. It's a solid, you see mine is kind of domed down a little bit because I've been using it for a long time. You wet it just a smidge. You take your makeup brush and you swirl it around in there. And basically you're pulling up some soap on it. Then they give you this little silicone bumpy thing. I don't know what they call it. It's a silicone bumpy thing, okay? Let me show you how I use it. I put it in my hand, the silicone bumpy thing, with some water. I'm doing this over the sink usually. And I take my brush that I picked up some of the soapy stuff on and I swirl it around. It gets it so clean. As you can see, this one needs to be washed right now. I used it a couple of times for some really heavy duty foundation and well, it sticks to the brush. Hmm, imagine that. But this stuff gets it clean. I should hold it right side up so you can see it. It gets it clean and it's easy to use. All you do after you're done, you make sure there's no water left in there. And usually I wash a bunch of them at once and I'll take whenever I'm doing the last one, I kind of pour the water that, that accumulates in the tub out onto whatever I'm going to wash my brush or my sponge or whatever and use that to wash it with. Then you just set it up on a shelf, let it dry, then put the lid back on. It stores nicely and it seems to go a long way. I've already been using it for several months and it shows no sign of running out yet. So it's actually a good deal. Uh, one thing though with the sponges, you wanna make sure that you're not using the little bumpy silicone thing on the sponges because it can rip them. And it says so right on the package. I know, I read directions. What? But you just take it and rub it in on the, uh, the pan of soap and you squish it around in your hands and run it under the water and get it clean. It has been the best thing that I've found for cleaning brushes and the easiest, and it's actually really convenient. Um, it doesn't take up a ton of space. It's not a big bottle of liquid. You're not gonna pour out too much because you're just using what you need for each individual thing that you're cleaning. I know, cleaning your makeup brushes and your makeup sponges, not the funnest or more funnest. Oh wow, I English well, don't I? Not the most sexiest thing to do, however, it has to be done. Otherwise it gets really funky and it can start building up bacteria and fungus and ugh, we don't want that on our faces. So get some of this stuff, check it out. I'll link down below to the product um, just because I really happen to like it, yay. Now another product that I wanted to give a quick shout out about is this guy. This is just an example of the product. This is the Wet n Wild uh, makeup brush. It's one of them. I have an entire collection of them because you know, you can go spend 40, 50, 60 dollars on a makeup brush, but why? The Wet n Wild ones I have found have been pretty awesome. Some better than others, just like anything else, but this little sucker was three bucks. Three. That's one more than two. Okay. So for less than five bucks, you got a great one. This one is really good for foundation, I've found. Um, nice and tightly packed, puts it on nicely, doesn't leave you all streaky. It's awesome. And that's why I like talking about it. Another makeup brush, and this is one I did not purchase, but I won. I won a whole set of them actually. Oh yes, the oval brushes. Now notice this is a pink one, it's pink plastic. It's not one of the fancy schmancy, I think it's Artiste ones. Who cares? This little guy is the most tightly packed brush you've ever seen. I'm smushing on it and you really can't see it go down. 
and it's so soft you kind of just want to pet it you know like a soft kitty or something but these I've found have been really good for foundation as well and concealer I use a smaller one for concealer now puts it on great so I kind of go back and forth with the wet and wild and these I don't think these were that expensive I haven't even looked at the price on them because I won them on an Instagram giveaway which I'm gonna talk about sometime soon but um, yeah super awesome cheap really flexible you see a lot of people um, doing reviews on the moda ones that are in Walmart now they're probably pretty awesome I mean free is better because you know bargain hunter but if you get a chance to try some of these out, get some of the cheaper ones and try them and see if you like them. Not everybody likes these. I love the way they feel on my face. I have not found one of these that I can use for eyeshadow. It ain't gonna happen. But for foundation, um, for concealer, didn't work for my highlighter, didn't work for my blush, but hey, it's all about trying stuff out and seeing what works, right? Got anything you want me to review? Any ideas for what you'd like to see on my channel? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'd also love it if you hit like and or subscribe or both and, you know, did a little happy dance while you did it. But, you know, that's just me. That's Tuesday Reviews. Hope you're having a great week and I'll see you next time right here. Bye-bye.